Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Kim. Today I'm here to explain hexagram one for you. Okay, so same, go to drkim.com. Okay, then click learn free. Then under category, look for eating. Okay, then you look for hexagram one. You'll be able to watch today's video there or you can go to YouTube. You can watch uh, my video there. Okay. Okay, so the first hexagram is called Tian Tian Gua. Okay, this is called Tian Gua. Okay, this is not called um Gan. This is called Tian. Okay, Tian Long the Tian Tian Gua. Okay, so uh, Tian Gua is represented by you can see right six young lines. Okay, young lines. Okay, so they are. This is called. I taught you the previous uh video right. Uh, this is called Chu Chiu. Okay, to represent the yang line. This is called Chu Jiu. Okay, the second line is called Jiu Up. The third line is called Jiu Fang. Okay, the fourth line is called Jiu Si. Okay, then the fifth line is called Jiu Wu. Then the sixth line is called Sang Jiu. Sang Jiu means it's the last line. Okay, so you can see they are all yangs and no ying. Okay, so in English, they have a name for this hexagram okay they call this the creative hexagram okay why they they call this and this is the very first hexagram among the 64 hexagram okay so if it's the first hexagram means means what means there's nothing right ah, there's nothing there because it's the beginning right so just like earth right just like like earth that uh, when it first started it's empty uh, empty right there's nothing there okay so nothing there so how else the next thing we do if there's nothing there we will want to create something right uh, if you have nothing would you want to create something yeah so uh, the first hexagram is called creative okay that's what it means okay so uh, if it's creating something means what means you have the force to create something or not you have the force right uh, you have the motivation you have the motivation right Okay, so we have nothing, right? And are you positive about it? Yes, we are positive about it, right? We are positive about it. We are motivated to create something. Okay, we want to pursue something. Okay, we want to create something good. Okay, so this is the meaning of the hexagram one. Okay, so is this an auspicious hexagram? In general, yes, is in generally, okay, it is auspicious, okay? Uh, now let's look at in details um the hexagram okay uh, let's look at line one we all, we always start from the bottom line one okay then we move upwards okay why do we start from the bottom line one and we read upwards because line one always talk about what talk about now right talk about past talk about now and then line two three it slowly progresses okay just like just like uh winter now it's winter. For example, December is winter. It cannot possibly be January is summer, right? You need a transition period, correct or not? For example, you need uh, like winter, right? You may need one month. Slowly, the snow, ice, all this, they will, you know, they will be gone, right? Then slowly, right, you will start getting uh, your spring, correct? Uh, you cannot even go to summer also, right? You have to, you have to bypass spring. Okay, so it's always like what? A transition period. Okay, you have to move slowly. Okay, so this is how our hexagram works also. Okay, you cannot say, okay, you make this prediction. Can I marry this man? And this hexagram say yes, you can marry this man. Right, or should I? Let's say what happened if I lost, uh, let's say uh, if I resign from my uh, current position, my current uh, job. Okay, then you read the hexagram and say yes. You know, uh, yeah, straight away you can uh, divorce or straight away you can marry or straight away you can change your job or something like that. Okay, so you, usually it's not the way, okay. Things happen usually is in progression. Okay, so it's like, like this, in progression. Okay, from line 1 to line 6. So always make sure you read all the lines. Okay, don't pick the one you think, this one looks good. Yeah, and then you pick that line. Okay, then, then it's not the correct uh, prediction okay now uh take note hexagram does not tell you or tell us what to do okay but they will give you advice or 
uh, yeah, they will they will tell you like they will give you some hints, some advice. You have to think and interpret. So you need to use a lot of your imagination, also a lot of common knowledge. Okay, you need to have some wisdom. Okay, maybe some life experience also to interpret the the hexagram. Okay, so uh, let's look at line one. So basically, line one, what line one is trying to tell us is, um, for example, like they use the synergy like of a dragon. Okay. Uh, so, the dragon at the beginning is a dragon. A dragon at the beginning cannot be right. Just like a dog, right? It cannot be a dog straight away, right? Uh, it must be a uh, like a puppy first, right? Then slowly, slowly it will progress. It will grow, right? Then it will become a uh, it will become a uh, a dog, correct? Uh, so same. So what this line trying to tell us is at the beginning, right? We have nothing, right? Just like baby. Do you think you can eat on your own? Can you shower on your own? We can't, right? We depend on someone to teach us, help us. Uh, that's what it means by this. Okay, this hexagram. One, line one. Okay, so at the beginning, right, we know nothing. Okay, uh, you can say we are we are weak at this stage. Okay, so, uh, but does it mean we will be weak throughout? No. Okay, what this line is trying to say is we will progress, but we are weeks at first. Okay, that's for line one. Okay, then line two. Line two means that slowly, right? You grow up, right? Primary school. Slowly you grow up, right? Secondary school. Correct. Uh, so what happened? Uh, you start to become stronger, right? Uh, fitter and stronger. Okay, you are able to like do more things. Okay, so it's also opportunity or time for you to meet someone. Someone like who? Maybe to meet. Uh, if you are schooling, maybe it's good opportunity for you to meet. Maybe your school, uh, your your scholarship or something like that, right? Maybe uh, you need to meet judges for your scholarship. Okay, and uh, yeah, if it's uh, about job, maybe it's time for you, right, to meet your HR or maybe to meet the president of the company. Something like that. Okay, you're you're almost ready, almost ready. Okay, so the line three is trying to say that you will work hard, will work hard, right? You work hard day and night, right? Just like this is secondary, right? You'll be doing your O level, correct? So you need to work hard or not? You need to work hard, right? So this is the time. Okay, you put in a lot of effort. Okay, to work very hard. Okay, to learn a lot of things. Okay, mm. even there's danger ahead. Uh, you also don't know, right? You also don't feel afraid, right? Uh. Okay, then the line 4. Line 4 is this line. Okay, we call 九四, right? 九四 means what? Because of all the hard work from line 3, right? Because of all the hard work, all the uh, obstacles you have overcome, right? So here, line 4 means what? Means you have achievement. Okay, you perform well and you have achievement, you are recognized. Jiu-u, okay, jiu is line 5. Okay, according to the ancient book, uh, okay, Fei Long, Zai Kong Zhong Fei Teng, Li Yu Jian Da Ren, Da Zhan Hong Tu. Okay, so line 5 means what? You are completely ready to, uh, to prosper. Okay, like if you are going to get married, then you are ready already. Okay, that time, that timing is you are ready. Okay, you are ready to get married. Okay, if if you want to uh, change job career, uh, if you reach line five, uh, means you are ready. Okay, so uh, this one obviously you can tell is a good, uh, it's a good good divination, right? Uh, if you think should I marry this person, so how do you decipher this? Okay, you can decipher as okay lah. Uh, at the moment. You are still new, right? Uh, so you give each other time. Okay, this one means you have to be patient. Okay, you have to give yourself some time. But at the same time, you don't give up. Because the line three is you work day and night, you're very hardworking, right? Don't give up. Okay, you go through obstacles. And line four, line five says that you will be ready. Okay, you'll be ready to meet the challenge. Okay, you'll be ready. Okay, and line six. Uh, line six, you have to take care of line six. Okay, because line six means... Uh, because you are at line 5, because you are so successful, right? So, what happens if you are so successful? 
because this is like a life cycle, right? Like a life cycle, right? Uh, you born, is here, right? Then you move to the peak. After the peak, what happen? You will fall, right? Uh, so this one means if you are successful, okay? Don't forget about what? All your past efforts, you know, the people who have helped you, and uh, the people who have helped you and the hard effort you yourself have, has, have put in, you know, have put in. Yeah. So uh, if not, if not, then you may suffer a downfall. Okay. So do not be arrogant. Okay. Always act morally. Make sure we are honest. Right. We make honest living. Okay. Uh, that's basically this is what this means. Okay. So especially the last one. Okay. Le ji sen pei. Le ji sen pei means what? If we are so happy. Right. If we are extremely happy. Right. To the, to the peak. To the top. To the maximum. So what's going to happen after next? Le ji is it sen pei. Right. So it becomes what? It becomes sorrow. Right. Uh, like some of you. You go and drink, 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 drink. We're happy. Right. Then the next day. You suffer. Correct. Uh, okay. Or it can mean. According to the ancient book. Right. Sun means very successful, right? Very strong. Ji means to the maximum. Bi sui means you will fall because it follows the cycle, right? When you're at the peak, you will fall, right? Correct? Uh, so, so always make sure your yin and yang is balanced, okay? Very important. So, um, yeah, thank you for listening to my video and I hope you learned something from me. Okay, so I'll be teaching Instagram too in the next video. Thank you.